turn too too far, we'd be in the ditch. Okay, let's do this again. All right, so this is the road to Cloget. The sign there. There it is. Okay, literally the size of a four-wheeler trail. You can see all the stuff growing up on both sides. We've already had to reverse down this road to let another car come down the road. So we're gonna try it again. All right, so that's the reason why I drive because as you can see, this road is very, very narrow and I'm more comfortable driving in this narrow road. Um, we will try our best, hopefully pray that we don't meet another vehicle coming down otherwise you have to reverse out of this road and it could be like about two to three miles so keep us in prayer As you can see, the banana plants there, and it have the it have black um, blue plastic around it, and that is to protect the bananas so that it would be good for market. Because you don't want birds to get on it, you don't want any insect to affect it. So that's the reason why they have that blue plastic. So, um, so Cliff will show you the road as we go by here. And this will be like about approximately five miles will be like this um, and so we want to tell you a little bit about the family that we are going to so the family it is um, a family of four It's a little boy he's like about nine years old he lives with his grandparents the grandmother is bedridden um, the grandfather is visually impaired and he also have an uncle so we were told about this family and you could see it's very far from the town. Um, none of them is really working. The uncle works a little bit, but the grandson, he's, he's the caregiver, really, of, the, um, of his grandparents. So we will stop the video and or we'll show you, in fact, a little bit of the road. And after we meet the family, we will start the video again and we'll tell you how they're going. So there's a, a little update. All right, so we'll see you shortly. So in the back there, I don't know if we introduced David. David is one of our directors from the Genesis Project. Um, so we just met the family from, from Cloche that we were telling you about. They're doing okay. Um, there's still a lot of need yep. um, pertaining to the house and um, her mobility because she's just on the bed and unable to move um, but and have no wheelchair or anything like that. The uh, the young boy that lives here was very very excited for us to come and we bring him a, a few little toys like matchbox cars um, things like that and crossword puzzles. crossword puzzles all kinds of little things that uh, really make his day um, he's very excited yeah. and he was very happy to, to see us come today and, and we got to share with some of his puzzles and and do some things and just have community with them today and it was it was very uplifting for right. them and for me yeah so um, even though we bought groceries for them we have next time when we're coming back because it's so far we only come once a month 
um, we'll be bringing a mosquito net because they have a lot of mosquitoes and they don't, don't have electricity so they need to keep the windows open so that they could get the breeze and all that. So because we're in the Caribbean, they have a lot of mosquitoes so we're trying to bring a mosquito, a mosquito net for the grandmother as she lay in the bed, a mosquito repellent and some toiletries and other stuff together with grocery items. Um, when you're coming back next time and again more to more crossword puzzles and stuff yeah. for, for Liran to keep him active. Absolutely. Um, thank you very much for joining us on our trip. Uh, we enjoy having you all and don't forget to like and subscribe so you all will get all the updates and hear all the good stuff and be blessed with the testimonies and see the beautiful island of Grenada. Bye.